Good morning, YouTube. You are not gonna believe what just happened to me. I am shooting a video today showing you guys six different brands of ICF. I'm in the vi I'm, I got it on a tripod, and I'm shooting it myself, and I guess I didn't have enough coffee this morning because I just shot a 30 minute riff on all these different blocks and the mic was turned off. So I'm gonna do it again, which I'm not super happy about. Hopefully I can condense that a little bit. I'd like to keep this video at you know, 15 to 18 minutes so you guys can, and I will bookmark where each block starts in the description. So if you guys wanna see something about one of these blocks, you can look in the description and skip a little bit if you want to. I'm going to be showing you in no particular order, I'm just gonna look around here. I got new Dura, Crown, Stronghold Fox Blocks, Build Block, and Light Block. I think that's six if I named them all. If I didn't, I'll list them. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to keep it super positive, guys, because one of the biggest and truest things right now uh, in the ICF game is just um, who in your market is doing the best job of contact, getting back with you, support, support before and after the sale. There's a lot of snake oil salesmen in the game, unfortunately, um, right now. And the reason I think a lot of that is, is if you go to Canada, let's say where the market is far more mature, you have 10% of the population. You got about 35 million people in the whole country. We got 350 million people. They have 2,000 ICF distributors. I mean, kind of the cream rising to the top, there's a lot more distribution looking for a lot less customers, so they have to be excellent. Here, we have 350 million people and 800 distributors nationwide. So there's a um, very big shortage in people that do what we do. And because of that, bad people don't get weeded out as quickly. And I'm not naming names or saying anything. I just get a lot of you guys reach out to me after having bad experiences. I hope educating the market you know, helps to you know, it, make the market more efficient and just let that stuff deal with itself, if that makes sense. If once the market's efficient, you have to be good at this to make money at it. I'm fine with that personally, because I think I am good at it. Um, but a lot of people get mad at me. You know, I'm giving away trade secrets. I'm not giving away anything. It's not secret. It's just not available to everyone. Um, anyway, guys, that's, that's my little rant this morning. Let's start with light block. Okay, guys, this is light block. Light block is uh, kind of a national known brand. It is available in a big box store called Menards. I don't know about other stores, but, um, that's good and bad. I think, you know, up in Canada where distribution is a lot more prevalent, you can go into a lumber yard and find Fox blocks on a shelf in stock and somebody there that knows how to talk to you about it. That's great. Doesn't really exist in the U.S. much. Not saying you don't have a local hardware store that's into it. It's just rare. But um, one of their things is they have a pretty flexible web. Whether that's good or bad is debatable. Um, but for shippability, it's very similar to Nudura. It will compress down. Now, it's not a hinge. It's just bending. I don't know if that can create a fatiguing effect if it's folded up too many times. That could cause you a problem during the pour. They say no, and it, I don't see any fatiguing. I, I haven't tried to bend it back and forth a whole bunch of times. I don't think you should do that. But it's got a nice, robust nub, or whatever you want to call this. Um, it has a kind of a ridge and a male and female nub to make sure the interlock is good. One thing that's interesting, and I'm not positive if I like it, is it's got a male and a female uh, thing where you have to slide it down in from the top. Um, that's a little different than most of the other blocks, and I've not honestly done a project with light block that I've gone that I've stacked and poured myself. I am quite confident with all the blocks I'm showing you today, I could install them and pour them with success. There are things that I like and don't like. I'm really just trying to show you, you know, the block in an agnostic way. Most of these blocks farm out their molding. Uh, they'll have a home office. You know, Fox's is in o Omaha. Bill Block is in Oklahoma City, but both blocks are made in Springfield. In my town, there's a big plastic molder. They send their molds and their plastic and their EPS mix, and they, they dictate out specs, and the company makes the blocks for them. Helps with shipping a lot when, like, Fox Blocks in particular has 14 plants around the country making their blocks. You're never, you know, more than a few hundred miles away from one. That's going to help significantly with shipping. But... That's light block, guys. It's a good block. It's available. And we're going to assume for this video that everything is basically the same price because it basically is within a few cents per square foot. Okay, the next block I'm going to do is crown. 
I will say at the outset, Crown is the weirdest block for, from a departure from the norm standpoint. First thing I notice is, for one, the foam is just a little thinner. Most of these blocks are anywhere from two and a half to two and three quarters of foam. This thing's about two and one eighth. Um, I don't know if that affects the R value at all, um, but most things about R value with these blocks, guys, is they're all probably in the R22 to R24 range. I'll show you an R30 panel with um, Nudura at the end of the video, but with, with concrete in here, most of the thermal mass and sealed ability, make most ICF walls perform closer to an R50. R value being a slightly antiquated way to judge efficiency, because you know fiberglass can be R20, R30, R whatever, yet air can go right through it, so what's the point? Um, compared to like spray foam. It's, it's just not the best method of analyzing efficiency. But you'll see something else. These webs are on an angle. That's going to create a need and the other thing, the big, big thing is this shiplap. It doesn't have nubs at all. They will tell you with these blocks that that makes them, you know, a little more versatile or easier to clean off the top of the wall during the pour. I'll tell you what I think in a minute. Let's see. But you can, when you line these up, you actually have, have to line them up on like 16 inch centers instead of like eight with a normal block. Because if you see this right here, how the webs at the angle line up, if I slide it over eight inches, they don't. They're offset, which I don't know if that's going to mess anything up, but you're not supposed to. It's supposed to line up like so. The big thing that's weird is because these blocks don't have nubs or any kind of alignment like that, you're supposed to glue these with foam glue every course. What I would say about that is if this is your first time getting into ICF, that is a slightly more difficult thing because if you glue them and then you mess something up, which you very likely might, just getting off layout, getting something wrong, now that block is glued to the next one, which is glued to the next one. It's kind of like laying a floor. You know, you know, if you mess up a piece of wood and don't notice it till you're 10 rows past it, it's gonna be very difficult to get that back out. Also, foam glue expands. So if, if you're not paying attention and you move on, you got a little too much foam and it pooches up like that, now you've got this little high spot in your wall or a crown, maybe that's why it's named that. But um, it seems like a good block, guys. I would, I would use it in, a, in an instance where I needed to. It's not as available in my market as some of these other blocks. However, they seem to have very good and very uh, tenacious representation on online. There's guys commenting on almost every forum I see. This is a crown corner. Um, the corner, I don't know what kind of plastic they might have in here. If I find out on the internet before the video, I'll post, I'll, I'll put a picture of it up. It seems like a pretty unsupported corner. And this little leg here, this looks a lot like a build block corner or a Nudura corner, which if you guys watch a lot of forums, people love Nudura, even homers for Nudura will tell you that their corners are their biggest weak link in, in their entire repertoire of really cool products because to make them compact and shippable, they're pretty small. Because they're small, you only, when, you, when you only have one web going this way, which most of the corners are gonna have, it's just not a ton of support. It's okay, but most of the time we'll recommend wrapping them, putting plywood on them, doing something to give them some support during the pour, or you could have a problem. But overall, guys, it's an interesting block. It's weird to me. A lot of things about it are different. Um, but, you know, this truss design is supposed to make it more, you know, sturdy this way. They're all, that's not really... Uh, something that during the pour is gonna matter much. Um, but anyway, I mean, it's interesting, it's cool. So, Crown, Crown ICF. Okay guys, this is a Stronghold block. Stronghold has a full two and three quarter inches of foam, which is a little bit more than most of the market. Um, eighth inch to quarter inch at least, uh, a little more than that on the Crown. Couple things that Stronghold has done, um, a lot of you guys know Nudura's patents all went away about a year ago because Nudura was really on the cutting edge for years. Um, and so one of the things Stronghold's adopted is that positive click. When you get them lined up, it has this little tooth, like little zip, zipper thing here. When you click it together, you have positive connection. They say this completely eliminates the need for clips. Um, one thing you'll hear is like a lot of people tell me, oh, you don't need clips, you don't need clips. I love clips. When we do monopores, clips are like the best thing ever because it's just cheap insurance. When you clip something together, it ain't coming apart. These, I would still probably zip tie certain things down low on a monopore just 
belt and suspenders. But I've never done a wall with this. The guy who loaned me this block is a uh, probably the godfather of ICF in Springfield. Uh, he was a New Dura guy for like 20 years. And overall great guy and just really passionate about ICF as I am. Got into Stronghold, don't really know the particulars of why he went from New Dura to Stronghold. Other, It was just business. Um, but it's got, just giving you some of the uh, high spots, it's got a nice interlock that, you know, is, is robust. I like interlocks that you can't beat up. On a job site, things are falling over, they're getting bumped, they're getting hit by a 2 by 4 And one of the blocks, their claim to fame, is a really tight interlock, which is nice for when they're together but they can get damaged so easy, it creates problems on a job site to me, often. But this is a really neat little block. Um, you can kind of see down here, it's got plenty of uh, places for the rebar. It's, uh, it's got a lot of markings on the, that, that would help you cut in a straight line. They're like on one inch offsets. Every, like, you know, Foxbox has a center line and it's got all your web lines. This thing actually, again, has, looks like one inch center. So I always tell people after you lay two courses of block on a house or whatever, you don't need to tape measure anymore because you just look at how many webs and what line it's cut on. This thing has more lines than anything I've ever seen, so that's, um, that's handy. This is another new Dura feature, the corduroy, the ribs, actually holds the concrete to the block. It's great until you try to do something kind of, you know, off label. When you're doing an eco finish something, you want to peel foam off of a part. New Dura and uh, Stronghold don't make that easy for you. But uh, guys, pretty cool block. Um, I think I hit all the high spots. Um, I think most of their distribution set up with local distributors that are supposed to know what they're talking about. And like, like the guy that sells it locally with me definitely knows what he's talking about. He's uh, actually started installing a lot of jobs himself, uh, you know, or at least consulting and helping, kind of like what I do, but on a more local level. He doesn't fly all over the country. Um, but I think that's kind of part of their, uh, you know, brand model is that they make sure their reps are good. They make sure their reps know what they're doing, which is, which is nice. All right, guys. So you'll have to excuse that this one is out of my boneyard and a little dirty. But this is build block. They are normally the same size, 16 inches high, four foot wide. Um, there are a few blocks that are one foot high, like uh, Superform. I don't have any of those to show you today, but um, most of them are gonna be 16 inches high, four foot wide. Build block, a couple things they do. They have their webs on six inch centers instead of eight inch centers. So if you were to want to use HV clips like you would on Fox or you can on Nudura, you can use them on the V, the vertical axis, but not on the horizontal because they're eight inch wide clips. You can see the, the webbing is a lot closer together. You also see this is a radius form. Um, these little interlocks, their claim to fame is that there's so much friction when you push these together, you don't need clips, you don't need this and that. They hold together better than any other block. And I can see why that would be true. I will say that you just have to be more careful with these blocks because you do that, you saw me doing that to the other blocks. Like if you go into any angle at all, they just don't hold up, which that's not fair probably because you're not supposed to do that. But real world applications, these get dingled like that. Just like that, now it won't snap in. You gotta, you gotta go back and knock that one off, knock that one off. Now you can snap back together. Now you have less friction anyway. But again, that's something that's, a selling point for them that's also in the real world, maybe like 1%, 2% more tedious. It's not, I'm not saying don't use build block because of that, because it's actually a nice feature. You just have to be a little more careful. Um, build blocks, so one thing they do really well is they have a complete suite of products. They have build deck, which I have recently decided is probably my favorite decking product because of its availability to be shipped. It comes modular on four foot by four foot pallets, so it, can ship out and sometimes, depending on where you are, be not much over half price over what like light deck or insole deck would cost that comes in full lengths. So that can be game changing for availability of that, of concrete roofs, concrete floors in your house. So they've got that, that Amvic has that too. The build block makes it in Springfield, makes it in my town. So I can get that and ship it out so much cheaper to you guys that that's a lot of, that's a lot of what this is is who makes what, where, and how available is it to you. Um, so I really like Build Deck. Uh, they've got the best, they have the best selection of radius blocks of anybody on the market, which is really cool for pools. But two-sided forms, you are gonna be limited to vinyl liner, rental it, PVC membranes, 
and then more like your base treats and skins and plasters, which are all fine products. You can do freeform pools. We sell kits for freeform that well, they consider no cut designs, meaning Build Block's gone in there and designed some like kidney shapes or mountain lakes or whatever they call them. And they are like, okay, you need 15 10 foot radii, then you need eight 20 foot radii, and you need some four foot radii. And they, 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 they create these shapes that you don't have to cut except the slopes or the you know slope from the shallow to the deep. So it's pretty cool, pretty efficient. They're still quite a bit more expensive than a rectangle kit because you're gonna have a little more waste just by, we have to send, you know, we send, we buy these things by the pallet and they, these radius blocks cost quite a bit more than a straight block to begin with. So you could have two or $3,000 extra to get a free form pool just in the block cost. Not a, not a deal breaker, but a real, a real cost. But the fact that they exist is nice. And Fox blocks maybe, which we'll get into the next block, maybe they have like four or five radiuses, radii, radii. Um, I think um, Build probably has 10 or 12 different radii. So that's like what they excel in, in my opinion. They also have a one-sided form called hard wall that we use on a lot of our pools. So yeah, Build Block. All right guys, Fox blocks. You know that probably 85% of my videos feature Fox blocks. A couple reasons, they're made in Springfield. I have easy access to them through my distributors. Um, they are reasonably inexpensive for a good, robust, solid block. Um, they got these nubs. You can beat on them from an angle. They don't get hurt. Um, even if I can bend them over, they'll still snap in. These in Nudura uh, looks like, honestly, Stronghold was holding up pretty good to me, banging on them. They're just really good interlocks. They don't have the same friction as a build block, but these also clip together with HV clips, which a lot of the, com the competitors will say is a bad thing. I love clips. I use them on blocks that don't require them, especially when monopouring, because you're up on legs and the weight of the concrete can try to pull down. You don't think about that when you're sitting on a footer, so it's a totally different animal, which we do to so much monopouring that I think about things probably a little different than some people. Anyway. Um, the webs are quite robust, they, they, very rigid block. You could never fold them like the light block. Uh, they're big claim to fame. They don't have as thorough a suite of products. They make a lot of block four, six, eight, 10, and 12 inch core. Then they have some uh, specialty web connectors. You can go even thicker than that. So they've got, they can go about any thickness. But one thing I do want to show you is their corner block is one of my favorite things about Fox. Because if you guys know New Dura, Wow, Nudura is you know probably the big boy as far as like you know volume and it's probably the biggest brand it's somewhere you know between Nudura and Fox. They're the they're the biggest two probably with Bill Block in a very close proximity. But Nudura's corner and Bill Block's corner is much smaller for shipability. This is called an extended corner. You notice first thing it's got two webs here. That's nice. It's got this uh, support in the in the corner. That is, there's all kinds of plastic in, in here that's making this corner super stout. I have um, poured thousands of blocks at minimum, maybe even tens of thousands of these blocks at this point, and I've never had a corner give way or even try to. Um, you know, we know what we're doing, we know what to do with mixed designs and everything else, but I have beat on these blocks. In fact, if you guys come to my training courses, you know that I build a little Fox Blocks wall and I booby trap it to blow out. I want it to fail. And I've done it the last three trainings. I'm going to do it from now on. And um, I, I mean, I score it. I cut webs. I do all kinds. Of, I damage the blocks significantly. Out of the three times I've done it, I've only got it to blow out super easy once. <laughs> and one time I left a clip in place that I wasn't paying attention. And that just the metal clip kept the thing from going. And it just hinged open a little bit instead of blowing. Another time I, I scored it, but I scored it on the back side. I cut all but a quarter inch of the foam, thinking this thing will go easy. I cut it from the back side so the people attending the training wouldn't know, and it was binding in on itself, and it still wouldn't blow. I stacked it up six feet above it, vibrated it, couldn't get it to blow. I had to hit it with a hammer. Finally, once I just it made it pretty obvious what I was doing. I scored it on the outside, and it blew super easy, which from now on, hopefully it will. My point is, if you do these right, they just are a robust, really reliable form. I just never had problems with them. They're just a good block. 
Um, don't have as many radiuses, but that's a pretty niche issue anyway. You can cut custom any radius. If you watch Billy Good's thing with Nudura, he's actually cutting his own radiuses on these big turrets. It takes time, a lot more time than just buying a, buying a shape, but it's very doable. So, yep, guys, this is, uh, this is Fox. It's just a good block. Uh, like it a lot. It's what we sell mostly in our, uh, in our liner and uh, Crete pool kits. So, okay, guys, last but not least, Nudura. So dang big, I'm having a hard time back here in my cluttered shop getting it to a place I can show you. Um, Nudura comes in eight foot long by 18 inch high blocks. That 18 inches is less important, I think. Uh, they think, well, for a nine foot wall, it's an even number of blocks, but how often are you actually stacking from your floor up? I've, it's fairly rare, right? If you're usually down below grade to start, which you can do the math with any block and make sure it ends up at the right height or ripping it is not that big of a deal. So, but again, you're covering more ground. Most of these blocks are 5.3 square feet. Some of, you know, like, um, you know, Super form, some of the blocks I'm not showing you, are only four square feet. This one's 12. With every block you lay, you're laying 12 square feet. So if you're in a wide open space, you're going faster. Most times, this just creates more blocks that are cut because the longer block hits more windows and doors quicker. Um, but that aside, it's a really good block. It's got the same rib design on the inside to grab the concrete as Stronghold. It has these clips. Same as Stronghold, where they snap together. It sounds like somebody's cracking a back, like a chiropractor when you snap them together. They invented both of those, by the way. Um, this form in particular comes generally hinged down. Like it folds down, sort of like what I did with that light block. The only thing about that is this one's done with an actual structural hinge. It's a stainless steel pin that runs through here. This is a knockdown, meaning this one does not have that hinge. It doesn't actually hinge out. These are webs that have been inserted because what we generally do with Nudura in our business is we send them out with plywood so you have foam on one side, plywood on the other for the fancier pools we build. And I got a bunch of that right now. So I just assembled this block to show you the scale and scope of it. But the reason they do these forms with no hinge is that you can uh, use these where you have a ripped course or a window or a door. They'll throw one of these blocks in instead of the metal hinge so they can cut through it without having to deal with that stainless steel hinge. Um, so that's what they're used for um, in, in, the, in an everyday market. But Nudura is awesome, guys. It's a wonderful block. They are a lot different in their distribution. They don't farm it out, uh, the manufacturing, so it's only made at a plant in Atlanta and in Canada. Um, so, but again, they ship easier because they are more compact because they don't ship air. Even, even though they're coming from farther away in general, the price should still be very similar. Um, but guys, yeah, so Nudura is great. Um, we are currently designing a one-sided web of our own that could integrate with any form system if the uh, company wanted it to. But uh, we've, we've designed it on the back of Fox Blocks right now because again, we are very you know, good with Fox. It's available to us and they don't have a one-sided solution right now. So it would be handy for them to have, we think. But uh, guys, um, hit up all3pools.com. It's not all pools. It's mostly ICF-based stuff. The pools is obviously our bread and butter. It's what we got known for. But if you have a project coming up, we are more than happy, more than happy to, you know, quote out whole house kits, uh, big buildings, whatever. We got so many projects I'm consulting on out in California. I'm going to Woodstock, New York next week. Um, to do some uh, consulting on a, one of the guys who attended my training, just sold his first pool, and it's pretty fancy. It's got a lot of AOP technology, probably a floor cleaning system, just a bunch of stuff that he wants me to go through with the homeowner, and then I'm going to go back out in a couple months when he goes to pour it. Um, so I'm kind of excited about that. I'll bring you a video from that. And like I said, we got training at the end of the month. I'm sure I already mentioned this by the time you're seeing this. Something happened to our new website. And right after I announced training, we were like, we went from getting you know, hundreds of emails a day from people to like zero. And Pat didn't pick it up for about a week that because we got we were so behind on hitting people back when we first announced training. It's kind of crazy that he didn't really notice. And we had a glitch and our contact form. If you contacted us anytime in the last two weeks, uh, may not have got it. So absolutely hit us back. There's also an email address support at all3pools.com. And if you just go to email that instead of going through the 
um, info link on the website, it'll automatically get to us. So maybe uh, as a backup, do that if you reached out. If we didn't hit you back, that's not normal. Uh, Eric and Pat are awesome at, um, you know, replying and kind of keeping everything organized so I can be more efficient. So do that, guys. Um, I got so much cool content coming up this summer. I really can't wait. We got tons of projects we're wrapping up right now that I'm going to be able to show you. We got a couple more roofs that we're doing, uh, light deck, build block, uh, build deck, and other things. So hit us up with any of your projects, guys. Just wanted to show you different what what all the market has. I'll probably do this. I might do more in depth where I just compare one to the other or just get a deep dive into each one of these blocks. And I might do that as a smaller series. But yeah. Have a good week, guys. Uh, see you next time.